We're starting day two of our beginner's oil painting workshop. So we ended yesterday practicing trees. And today we are going to be finishing this painting that we started yesterday. We're going to go back to our painting now. And we're going to do a little tweaking in the background. We're going to do a little tweaking in the ridges in the back if necessary. And we're going to start again working from the back and coming forward. When we started that background before, we started with white. And we did an oil slick of the burnt sienna. We did an oil slick of blue. And we did an oil slick of that cool red, the phthalo red rose. But the idea is to get a transparent cool red. A transparent cool red that's on the cool side of red. All right, now, so I'm going to start with white. I'm going to take a little bit of turquoise, uh, excuse me, burnt sienna, and a touch of blue. And I'm going to get a light, warm gray. And I'm going to test this against my sky back there. And that's fairly close to what I want, but I'm going to want to do some clouds. So that first effort that I put back there was close enough, and now I'm going to make it somewhat lighter, and I'm going to take one quarter of a butterfly kiss of that red, that cool red, and I'm going to put a color in here, make it a, take a little bit more white, and I'm going to get that, those clouds that I see in the distance, and I'm going to put those in with a somewhat of a horizontal brush stroke. And now that magic stroke that I talked to you about before, I'm going to take that magic stroke and just put a break up the edge of those clouds back there just a little bit. Now, if in, in our photograph, the only clouds we see are back just at the mountains, way back there. That looks a little weird to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, a, I'm going to put a, just a little cloud right here and I'm going to use the same stroke that I use for the number two on the tree. Remember when we did the number two on the screen we use a little scribble stroke. Maybe two clouds. Touch there. So there I have a cloud. But how do we do clouds? We do clouds the same way we do trees. I'm going to have that be my number two color. I'm going to take a little bit of blue and a little bit of this red and make somewhat of a bluish, purpley, gray cloud that has a shadow under it. That's a little bit too dark on the shadow. So I'm going to put a little shadow with my cloud. Hey, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That soft, lacy cloud has a little bit of a shadow. And you know what? There's just a little bit of a cloud, the underside of the cloud right there. A little bit of the underside of a cloud there. And I can lighten this gray up a little bit. And I'm going to put a, the suggestion of a few shadows way back there. Now, that little bit created a little more visual interest in my sky. This is what I call tweaking. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have just discovered that I have put the light source on the clouds coming from the upper right. <laughs> when the rest of the painting, the light source is going to be coming from the upper left. So, to change this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a light, warm, fluffy cloud color, which is white, a very, very slight touch of burnt sienna, a little slight touch of blue, and I'm going to put a touch of orange on the highlight side of these little clouds because I want to be consistent with my light source. I need to bring that little bit of a shadow color that I came up with. The shadow color is white with a little bit of blue and a little bit of a, the 
cool red and I come up with a very subtle little shadow color and I'm going to bring that subtle shadow color up a little further on the right hand side of my cloud so that I'm isolating my light source as being coming from the upper left. Now I did this as a test and nobody caught it. <laughs> yeah. So now these fluffy clouds are going to be consistent with the light source that's going to be hitting the foliage down here. The light source is going to be coming from the upper left. So we want everything to look as though the light source is coming from the upper left. Yeah, you want to go and, and restate your darks and maybe add a few to it. 